Right guys, welcome back to another episode. So in the last episode we got set it up on the new server. But no one's online right now, just me, lucky at least. And we're looking bad on our armor. As I said in the last episode, we've got the enchantment secret basements underground. Then we've got a mending and protection villager down by the village. So today I want to kind of get as many like enchants and levels as possible so that we can actually start enchanting our stuff. So I'm going to grab a whole bunch of stuff and head over to the village. Here's the village guys. So over here is my mending guy. Actually just need to quickly change something around. Cause if I have the station there, yeah there. Oh this is protection. Sorry. Look, protection four. I believe yo, we don't get protection five anymore. So that's really good. Then up here is our mending guy. It's not the best, but it's the only one I could get. So yeah, 16 emeralds isn't bad. Then I've got two Fletchers here that I've been trading with. And I've managed to get quite a few emeralds. So I want to get at least, I'm going to turn all those Wooden that there from there into sticks into emeralds and then let's see what we do so i've been a little busy i brought them back but no matter how much i try they won't make another villager so i'm gonna see if there's a funny way to do it with this but we've got a whole bunch of stuff to enchant in there and i was looking because a lot of these are good in fire aspects and this is efficiency. I don't know, but I think getting a breaking three is a good idea. Just for that. Okay. So. <laughs> that did not help. But now we know what we should enchant. And I've got an idea. Because you can trade string. And I remember seeing this string farm. Might be an exploit. I'm not entirely sure. But you never know. It's getting kicked off a server now and then. So let me build it down there. And see if I can get it work and with that we have a string farm center it is quite loud but luckily I can just look and it's off and this is getting quite a bit of string I think it's night time right now but I did wake them up earlier to try and trade so now and then they'll come or just get lucky but they it's like 16 or 14 emerald or string per emerald. Like that's already 4, 8, 12. Kind of same there, there, there. And that I left on for a few minutes. Not even. So we'll definitely have it now. All we need is these villagers to start breeding. So I get more villagers so I can trade more. Let me see if I can find five find a village anyway hopefully there'll be one around it's been just a tiny bit and we've got a village of reader because over there i was exploring and i found it a village it looked like it was looted and there were only six villagers left so i decided to take them in so i'm hoping the Villages up here will start to 
harvest the potatoes, breed, more villagers will fall through. And we still got the four original ones here. But we're going to have to set up a villager hall. Like, just a makeshift one for now. Because it's no use just having these guys just everywhere. That Even the ones over there with the beds. It's useless now. I've got the ones up here that will be great for breeding. And as you can see, this room's quite tall. It's one block from the top. So what I'm thinking is everywhere except for this, I'll make it higher like this. Because then I could possibly put two floors or it just makes it look nicer, bigger area, more farms as well. So let me get designing a little villager hall in this area. Last time we spoke, I told you I was going to be training with villagers and setting up the area. And it's going quite well. So here's the villager breather. I'm still waiting for them to actually make their first baby villager. They're like just refusing. But anyways, then I've got these guys here. The four from the original village and the four from the new one. And you wouldn't believe how good these guys are. They're not as cheap as the, uh, what's the name? the Fletchers, but yeah, some of them have overpriced, but they give a lot of XP, all of these guys. I'm not sure if they're mad because like they used to have a bed, then I broke it. There were no villages in games, but they're quite close, 13, 19. So it's like six difference, but that means I managed to get a lot of XP. And you know what that means? Time to enchant. And remember last time? We saw that nice. Oops. Oh man. Must have left it upstairs. We saw the nice fortune upgrade. Or enchant, shall I say. And I was thinking for the future, like where the base can go and this area at the bottom I'm gonna dig it all out keep this as it is keep the villager like high big open area of farms then maybe there or there will be build a bigger but like more proper foundation or house which we can just use as a like main base but it'll have a secret way into here. Only fortune. Weird. Okay. Let's see. I'm breaking. I'm breaking. Fire protection. I don't know if I just got really unlucky, but only fortune. Like. Huh. Let me quickly. I'm going to try again with this fortune. Let's see if it only gives me fortune then. Fortune only. Weird. Protection, protection. Why is everything like that? Okay. I guess I'm breaking. Efficiency. 
Escape Strider, not a bad one. Protection, Sharpness 3, yeah. Efficiency. Uh, Axe is looking right. Fire, Thorns, I'm breaking. Knockback, I'm breaking again. Hmm. Hmm. I'm breaking. Not bad. That's extremely good. Blast protection. Smite. Fortune 3. I'm a retry with fortune. <laughs> I'm a gambling man, you know. So, I'm going to get a few more levels. And let's see if I can re-upgrade or... Because a few of these things, like these two, are like ready. This is okay. This is decent. Put mending on there. Which I might actually just do now. That's okay. Because I've got mending and I'm breaking. That's why if I really have to go without... It's fine. Mending and breaking. Perfect. Let's trade some more with these annoying villagers. After a little bit of time, the villagers don't seem to be breeding at all. I think something's broken them. I found three, four, five, six, six new villagers. And then and I've expanded the whole area. So we've got our regular villages here. The string farms now. We just behind this lower area. Villages. Villager breeder I'll probably tear up because it's not working. Then I've moved my storage. I've got a little farm here just for nether wart. A little bit of a valuables chest. Then I've set up the hidden entrance out. You press this button, open the water stream, and the block moves out. Then I did go and upgrade all my tools. I can't believe I managed to get such a good sword in one. But, like, that's all nice. But I do find, like, it's as nice as this is. I'm running out of space quickly. So, I'm thinking that I might set up like a little depot, a storage depot. So let me see what blocks I have and mess around. So for some reason, the audio is cut out of the next two clips. But basically, <coughs> actually the next three, what I've done is I quickly had set up a like an industrial district. I've put some roads in and that. And I've been trying to get the villagers to work and get all the resources, but they just don't want to like breed or anything. I've set up a cleric villager over there because then I can trade for emeralds for redstone, which will be helpful because in the room here is I'm going to make like a little silo. But as you can see, here's the road. It's three wide with one like strip in the middle of lane. Then I've started to build like an outside or perimeter there. Then this is the building. I'm going to make a big ish area. The buildings are kind of the white and the gray. This is the silo. So it filters items automatically. Then the silo it will put into the chest. Once the chest is completely full, then the lights will start to go up so you can see how full it is and whatnot. So I'm kind of thinking that I might be able to put like nine or eight in there, depending on the size. Then over here, I'm going to have a water stream running straight through all, over all the hoppers and then to another building, maybe or basement or just like storage. For all the excess items and that. Because if I can build another storage room that isn't silos. But stores some of my items. That will be great. 
So I might just do that like underground, the storage system, then have it go into chest somehow or yeah, haven't really thought about that yet. Then I'm hoping that I could fit nine here because then that means I can do stone, cobblestone, deep slate, um, the cobble deep slate, then tough, um, dirt, some of the stone blocks, sand, gravel, but I'll probably run out of space before I manage to do all of that. I'm not going to put diorite in, yeah, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to bring the whole wall there. I might build a second building over there, but I'm probably going to build a smaller little building. Then, kind of I've just done the pathway up to here. As you can see, I'm just going along a line. So this is where the wall is going to be. Then over by me there, I'm going to have like a gate house kind of thing. Still trying to see. Oh, so I've cleared out all the space or all the trees that's needed. And apparently I did miscount some blocks and that. So it's a bit wider, but it's still going to be looking good. Then I'm thinking of like on the side here kind of having like truck depots or something like you see on warehouses then the fence i'm gonna have run around here and that so let me fill this area in with dirt and that and let's see how it goes because i think once we get dirt in we can kind of have a layout and here it is guys just like that so i've started a tiny bit with the layout and that but what i'm kind of thinking is i can make the path go straight out then build however i want now that i have this done i can see how big so the gate or the fence over there i've widened by one more block so i have more space can make it like a back entrance or low car entrance maybe for like staff or something then i've just like kind of thinking what to do I'm thinking I might have a path run down here and then go along with another building or like a truck depot building or like repair center. So the gateway I've used or the gate is five blocks by three stone bricks high with tough, or deep, not deep slate, um, tough block, brick slab. Then I have the iron fences with the stone brick walls on top. And it gives it that industrial factory look, like you'll find on an important place or something. We can imagine that the metal bit is electrified and the stone bit is kind of like barbed wire. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking this is gonna be the standard throughout. I might change it like if I wanna add a door or a gateway and Oh, I've just made all of those too high and not three high. Okay, let me fix that real quick. Alrighty, guys. After a little bit of work, we've got the fence in. And I've got like a little gatehouse type thing. And I'm still... I don't know exactly. I left this hole here because I want to kind of just make a way up so I can get onto there. But kind of as a truck stop. Trucks come in. Then they they speak to the people. Regular people or staff more. Will walk through here. Like wherever. Trucks will go in. I might just make the path so long. Then each of these docks. I'll make three of them here. Just like. Uh, probably like that wide by five, like three by three or three by five, maybe. Then if I get some, well, let me just plan out what I'm going to build here and this area. Then we can see. I've been doing a bit of like planning in that. I'm going to have the road run down here and off here, but it'll probably go to this pillar. 
and I'll just make it a big parking lot. Like all of those, or the whole road just mimicked all the way across. And I'll just put some like parking, but or like spots in that. But then I went to and I designed no areas for the truck. I, I, I like her too much. I just want to do the whole bit over all the way to here. So it's just trucks, 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 trucks. That's all it is. So I'll probably put a door over here. Oh no, I, I wouldn't even put a door. Just trucks. That's what the plan is for there. Then over here, what I'm thinking is if I have this whole area, maybe, because if I go up to here, I make a little extra spot and I have this as a truck assembly center almost. So the road will go turn straight down, turn back in. So you have the whole parking area. Then in here we'll have where the trucks are like being assembled. We don't really need that much storage. And if we need more, we can always just make a basement. Or like just fall to certain items the race goes into chests along there or in trucks. I think that's where I'm going to end it today. Next episode, or between episodes, I'll grab all the deep slates ready. Grab all the resources for these storage modules. Because... I think I might be able to fit nine more. Because if there's one, two, three. So there's 37 blocks going around or straight down. So I can fit eight more. Then I'll have like a one block gap. Which I'll probably put. Actually, where would I put it? I, um, I'll have to figure that out. Might just be like, wait, where's the center? Because one, two, three, one, two, three. This is, how? I think I might have miscounted. Probably. Eight or nine. I'll get enough resources for nine. And then I can just keep the rest or just put it somewhere else. This over here, what my plan is, is I'm hoping for it to um, weather. Because the copper, I want this, Oxi or just the oxidized copper trap door, or weather trap door. Because those look quite good. I prefer the wet, or the oxidized, because then it looks like it's more proper. And the blue just looks nice with the whole building. Right. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. We will be finishing off the storage lots and i'll see you guys later bye bye now one quick thing before you go i got full netherite armor because in the nether there was this one like piglin fortress and it just gave me a ton of netherite and a ton of load stones <laughs> so i'm going to be using these in a lot of bolts which would be perfect for here because they look so cool yeah see you in the next episode bye bye